Okay guys, I wanted to show y'all this. This used to be our shed. For those of y'all who don't remember, I've shown a backyard tour right after we first moved here, which I mean now we've been here for two years or a little over. Um, but this was a very, very large shed that we had that we kept a lot of stuff in. And two days ago on May 17th, it burned down. Uh, basically you can say it exploded. And I wanted to show y'all the remnants of it. it. Smells really bad out here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty depressing. I've calmed down a little bit, so I figured I'd wait till now to show y'all because I was pretty devastated because this is how close the shed is to our home, which as you can see, the heat has melted the side of our house, the heat from the fire, and it was this close to the shed. It could have easily burned our house down if the firemen had gotten there even just a few minutes later. Um, the fire didn't get into the wood or anything, so our house is still livable, and I thank God every day for that. Um, and of course, insurance will cover this, and we can get the side of the house fixed. My dogs are killing each other over there. <laughs> anyway, this is the remnants of our poor shed and you know our backyard was just starting to get beautiful i just fertilized the backyard a little over a month ago and it was starting to get beautiful back here and slowly but surely anyway all the fire burnt a lot of our grass over here so we have some black grass yeah it's just black in areas it looks horrible and my poor house it's really depressing the window cracked but just on the outside so thank god for our double paned windows pretty depressing i just wanted to do this video for you guys so y'all could kind of see what we've gone through <laughs> um basically it was about 8 15 the 17th roughly i guess and the kids were in their room and I was on the couch watching television. My husband was down the street, not too far. And I heard what sounded, I don't know, it was kind of between a cross of a shotgun and like a bomb going off. It was like a loud explosion or a pop. Scared the hell out of me. Um, I was like, what in the world was that? So I got up immediately and looked out the um, sliding glass door in our kitchen and I immediately saw a bright blaze I'm talking it, it didn't it wasn't like a slow fire that started it like immediately made a loud bursting noise and it was just our whole shed was engulfed in flames and at this point I mean I knew how close the shed was to the house so at this point I had no idea if it was already like getting to the end of our house and burning our house so um, I immediately grabbed my phone dialed 911 told my oldest son to call my husband and then after he got off the phone with him we grabbed the dogs and the cat and um, went outside I put the dogs in the car and um, so we were all we all got out safely and we were all okay and as you can see it melted the side of our house but our house is livable and so I guess that's a blessing I try I've been having to try to find the positive side to all of this because I have not been feeling too positive but the positive side is that we're all okay and um, our house didn't completely burn down but anybody who knows me well knows you know I don't really get depressed easy or down too much um, it takes a lot for me and for some reason the last couple of days I have been feeling very low down and depressed I've been feeling weird and a little creeped out and a little freaked out by everything because you don't understand the the blaze was taller than our house and it was an immediate blaze and we don't even keep anything flammable in this shed um, nothing nothing that would have made it catch fire which is why I really wanted an investigator um, to come check this out and see if they could figure out what um, happened because you know, we, we don't have anything flammable in there. And so all of all of that's been a scary thought. I'm like, if someone 
cause this to happen? Are they going to come back and finish it? Are we going to lose our house? Like, I don't even want to go to work today. I stayed home yesterday, but I didn't, I didn't, um, want to stay home today because tomorrow is the last day of the school year. And so I needed to be at the school and be at work today and tomorrow. So I went back to work today and it's so hot and I was like sweating. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to to show y'all that and see what it looks like. And so I am thankful that, that that's all that happened. But it is kind of sad because we had a lot, I mean a lot of things in there that were valuable and important and special to us that we cannot, you know, get back. And some things might not be big of a deal to some people, you know, like camping supplies, but those of y'all who know, we go camping every year. It's our tradition, and we've been slowly but surely every year um, adding on and adding on to our camping supplies, and we've lost all of it. So now we've got to start start all over, basically, with that. I had some Christmas decorations that I lost. Thank goodness a lot of my most special ones are in the house, um, but I did have some out here. Yeah, I, I don't really get scared easily. It's a lot to scare me, and this scared me bad. <laughs> I mean, to the point that like I said, I didn't want to leave the house today. I was afraid to leave the house alone. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show y'all that so y'all would know what was going on and um, see the wreckage. And I don't know how long it will take for insurance adjusters to come out here. I know they're supposed to come out here probably uh, early next week to take pictures and fill out a report and all that and we've got to figure out all the personal property that we lost Get someone come out here and fix the house, but you know how sometimes all that's a slow process and Yeah, we're gonna have to get a bunch of dirt to fill in this hole because it's Under this where the shed was it's It's gonna be a big hole. <laughs> it's gonna be a pond practically if it rains too much So we're gonna have to get some dirt and some side to fill this back out. It's it's just disgusting and I don't know I have felt pretty low pretty low the last couple of days so I'm trying to get out of this funk I don't know why I feel so bothered by this but I I really do badly I, I was I've never been more scared in my life and I, I honestly thought my house was gonna die I was on the phone with 911 just screaming to them please hurry up please hurry up you've got to get here it's so close to my house Our house is gonna burn down we tried to get out everything in the house that um, that we could while the fire wasn't touching the house yet so my kids were running and getting clothes and my husband was getting a few valuables out of the house you know we just got a few main things quickly out but luckily the firefighters came and put it out and everything before it really got to our house so anyway this is the damage <laughs> and I just wanted to show you guys so yeah that's what's been going on this week <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. If y'all have any questions about anything, just leave them down below. And I will try to keep y'all updated on what's going on with our house and our backyard and uh, all that good stuff. But I just kind of wanted to update y'all and show y'all what's going on. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.